Now many of you have seen, might have seen my first video where I took an old Ryobi charger and turned it into a portable power bank that would fast charge my cell phones. Um, now, I'm not blind to the fact that not everybody owns Ryobi tools. Uh, I myself don't only own Ryobi tools, I also own some Milwaukee tools, uh, specifically the 12 volt line. And they have this uh, product right over here, with the, which they call the um, charger and power source. There's been a couple iterations of this throughout the year, but basically it's this little sleeve that fits over your 12 volt battery. It gives you some charging options. Um, and it's, it's a pretty cool little project that I wanna test out for you guys because I think it might be a good backup option for additional power storage. Um, now, if you look at this one, it's got a uh, really nice branding on it. Um, it has the micro USB port, which I hate, so I'm just gonna instantly put a little adapter in that and make it a USB-C. It has a charge level indicator, which is great because the M12 batteries don't have that. And it even has a uh, DC output. So you can charge your batteries through DC power, you can output through DC power, and it also has a USB charger right here hidden on the bottom. And in the package, they give you this really nice Milwaukee micro USB cable for charging your batteries and a little Milwaukee branded uh, AC adapter. Um, it's not a fast charger, it's just one point, uh, I mean 2.1 amps. And I believe the USB port on here is also 2.1 amps. Um, again, not the fastest, not as fast as my homemade Ryobi one, but still a fairly decent option for the price point of about uh, $40. Now, they also have a competitor, a very, very knockoff. You can get it on Amazon. This is a compact charger and power source for the N12 battery line. And the funny thing about this is everything on these chargers is almost exactly the same. Even the warning labels are exactly the same, but you can tell that they doctored them to say N12 wherever it said M12, which is pretty funny. Uh, and also the, the serial numbers of the products are different. Um, and the, the insides, they look a little different, but basically they, everything looks almost exactly the same. Now, one of the main things that I wanted to check was, is this a valid option? Uh, or should you, should you just pay twice the amount of money and get one of these? Um, so I bought both of them. Um, so I figured I'd probably keep this as my main and this as a backup in case of an emergency. They both have the terrible micro USB. They should really update this design and hopefully they do within the next year or two. But for right now, I'm just gonna throw a couple of uh, USB type C adapters on there. And one thing that's very noticeable at the beginning, besides the color, is the weight difference. The Milwaukee one weighs a lot more, at least in the hand. Uh, and I brought a little scale over just to see what the difference was. So let's uh, let's turn this on right here. And uh, I have this on ounces right now. So we're gonna we're gonna start with the Milwaukee one. So this weighs 3.5 ounces. And that's with the uh, the adapter in it. But uh, I'm never gonna not take that adapter out, so I'm keeping that as part of the weight. Now for the knockoff, it is a full ounce lighter. <laughs> so I don't know exactly. The, the plastic definitely feels, it's not bad, the plastic on this one, but it feels like almost hollow when compared to the Milwaukee. I guess that, come, that sounds kind of similar, but you can definitely feel uh, a difference in the plastics with the Milwaukee. It's nothing to write home about. It's not like the same plastics that the tools are made out of. That is definitely a much higher quality plastic, but it's still better than this, but this isn't terrible. I wouldn't want to drop this. I think this would survive a drop. I don't know if this would. And I'm not gonna test that because I am not uh, that type of channel that's just gonna wreck a product for no reason. I feel like if you're buying a knockoff tool, you should know what you're getting into. This is solely for being able to charge your batteries off of DC and being able to use them as a power source in the case of an emergency. Uh, I'm not one of these tool channels. I'm not even a tool channel. That's gonna be, <laughs> you know, but tools are a part of uh, um, self-reliance and prepping and all that stuff. So um, I have a dead cell phone and I feel like testing the two of these. These don't go in super well, 
they kind of have to be lined up perfect. And one of the nice things about this is it does have the built-in charge indicator. So I have a fully charged battery. I'm gonna charge my cell phone with this all the way from zero. And I just wanna see how far along it gets. I don't care how long it takes to charge my cell phone because I feel like if it's a portable power source, I really shouldn't care how long it takes because I can bring this with me. But I do care how much it charges my cell phone. Um, this is a uh, 1.5, amp hour battery. Um, they don't have any information on here as far as how many watts it's rated for. I don't see it on here and I haven't looked it up and I don't care because I don't feel like your average Joe would. This is also compatible with the uh, the bigger sized fuel batteries but I just have these little ones because um, that's what I have. So um, let me charge up my cell phone and see how far it charges it. All right, I had to switch things up. I'm actually using my cell phone that I charge to film this because my camera battery died and I wanted to get this information to you guys as quick as possible. So this charged my phone up to 77% and um, it gives you, uh, it, the lights don't stay on while it's charging, but you can click and get the indicator light and when it's blinking like this, that means that the battery is dead. Um, you know, it did a pretty good job. It took about uh, two hours to drain this battery and it did a pretty good job of charging on my phone. I would be happy with that, especially in an emergency, uh, almost 80% is gonna last a while if you're conserving energy. Um, it would definitely wouldn't be my go-to and I definitely think the Ryobi's batteries do provide a better charge. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna charge this battery off of, the, uh, off of this port over here, uh, see how that goes. And tomorrow, after my phone battery dies, I will try to charge it up with the knockoff brand and see how well this does. All right, so next day, uh, I let this charge my phone and the results were exactly the same. Uh, didn't seem to be any uh, different efficiency. One thing I did notice though, when I recharged the battery using this USB-C port, I had it plugged in overnight and it only charged halfway. Um, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more testing on that just to see if there was uh, energy, a lot of energy loss with this or if this is just a very slow charger. But for this one, I'm gonna be taking the USB-C port out and charging it directly through the micro SD, the micro USB port, because um, you know I don't wanna affect test results. So I'm gonna recharge the battery with this, uh, you know, and then uh, I'm, this one I'm also gonna do without that USB-C adapter and just see, is it a slow charger? Or is that, um, just some power loss through here. I was expecting some power loss, but when I came back the next morning, I plugged it in at 12 o'clock midnight, checked on it six hours later at 6 a.m. and it was only charged halfway. I was a little confused. Um, so it's hopefully there was just power loss with here and it's not just a slow charger. Uh, this one though, I am not gonna be leaving it plugged in overnight. I'll tell you that much. Uh, I'm hoping that this is done charging by the time I go to sleep because I do not trust some knockoff product to charge a battery unattended. Um, I am ready to take this out of the house or whatever as soon as possible. But uh, right now, I have it plugged in. It's charging, it has the same charge light as the, uh, as the official product did. Um, I'm hoping that this is just the case of, they make these, I don't know, let's see where is this made. This is made in China. So, and obviously this is probably made in China as well, which it is. I'm hoping that's just the case of, they got contracted to make this, they stole the blueprints, they used cheaper plastic, and they slapped their own label on it, and it's the same internals. Um, we'll see. Um, I have this charging now, and we'll check on this in a few hours to see how far along it is charged. Um, yeah, so see you guys in a little bit. So, uh, it's been a few days, I've run some more tests, and uh, I have some final thoughts for these. Um, in conclusion, I think these are both great products and would work similarly. Uh, that's what my tests have shown that they basically work almost exactly the same. Uh, but for the money, this is twice, this costs twice as much money as this does. That being said, you can get two of these for the price of one, but this is the official Milwaukee product. They're definitely are higher quality parts in here. Like this definitely feels cheaper and like the rubber on the cap isn't as nice and the button turns a little bit. The lights are the same, it charges the same. 
But if you're worried about ruining your batteries, if you use these batteries every day, this I just have for one tool and I, you know, I picked these up. I would stick with the name brand and maybe get two of these as a backup for emergency situations only. Um, so um, I would do all my charging through here. I would do all my discharging through here. But I would definitely say if you're worried about you know, a blackout or something, you want extra backup battery charging options, pick up a couple of these. These are only like 20, like I think I saw them from between like 15 and 20 bucks each, which is really super cheap. But if you're just looking for a cheaper DC charger than the uh, car charger one that they offer, I mean, this is only like 40, 50 bucks on Amazon. Pick up one of these, plug in a USB-C cable and charge up your batteries. I mean, a U uh, micro USB cable and charge up your batteries. I hope they come out with a newer version of this that does have USB-C on it and it can maybe charge your batteries faster because the charging was a little slow for my taste. If you were on a job site and you were trying to charge up your batteries, I probably would not recommend this. But if you do like charge up your solar generators overnight, you know, over during the day and then overnight you charge up all your power tool batteries, this is a fine option. I would, I would use this no problem without any qualms. Um, so tell me what you guys think down below. Do you own any of these knockoff ones? Do you just stick with the name brand? Um, I'd like to hear what your thoughts are down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.